January 9th, 7.45 in the morning. Today we take the Dinkers to meet the other people who will be going with them on the Ethiopian mission trip. And I have two and a half hours of sleep. Keys.
And you were rushing. And I thought we were running late. Well, we actually got here, opened up the bays, and somebody had left stuff in it. Oh, you're kidding. Not luggage. Yeah. Hey. And we can go back to church real quick. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. <laughs> you got everything out of the car you need? Did you get everything out of the car you need? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Enjoy Africa. Yeah, thanks. And so it begins. Two weeks by myself in the house with the cat and the dog. Should be fun. You know, I'm gonna have to keep the house from burning down, keep the house clean. It won't be a problem. But I'm sure that when I step inside this house, both of these animals will be ready to greet me with the love and the affection that I so desperately need. Hi, Dodie. Hi, Dodie. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Watch that sweet dog. Sweet dog. And the cat doesn't give a damn. Jim's to-do list for today. Number one, see the dinkers off. Number two, meet with Beth about Obagon Fitness Cookbook. Number three, go to the Christ Community Church, Church brunch and help the people there serve and clean up. And number four, do errands. It's going to be a full, full day. Next up, we're going to meet with Beth from Obagon Fitness. We're going to discuss the formation of a cookbook that we're doing. It's going to be a interactive cookbook with nutrition knowledge and fun and frivolity and tasty recipes and it should be a lot of fun. After that, as I said before, we're going to be going up to Christ Community Church and I'm helping them with their the Ministerial Alliance brunch that the pastor is hosting up there. Uh, back there in the kitchen, I've made a, a spice cake and a chocolate cake that I'm going to be taking up there and we're going to serve them lunch. And after which, I'm using a couple of gift cards going up to Walmart and getting something I need and then we're going to stop off and get some lunch and come back here and eat it and veg out for a while. Sound like fun? Sound like just loads of excitement? No, it doesn't. It sounds very, very relaxing. Well, it was a busy day. So busy, in fact, that I wasn't able to pick up a camera. I met with Beth uh, to talk about the Obagon Fitness cookbook and upcoming challenge. By the way, if you're interested in winning prizes and losing weight, it would behoove you to go and check out www.obagonfitness.com. Dot com and the address is right there. You can go check it out. And if you want to enter into our contest, uh, call this number that's appearing right there now. Got it? And eventually, Obagon Fitness is going to be publishing a cookbook. So if you've got any recipes 
for healthy snacks, healthy meals, healthy desserts. Just give this YouTube channel a comment. Just put it right down there or let me know and I'll get back to you. The Ministerial Alliance luncheon went off without a hitch. Uh, the cakes that I made hardly got touched, but they're going to a nice home, and I'm happy about that. But there was a large New York-style cheesecake there, and they didn't stand a chance. They also had pulled pork and barbecue brisket and... Oh my gosh, the smell was incredible. I was able to sample a little bit of it after the luncheon was over, and it was great. For the rest of this evening, I plan to relax a little bit, uh, noodle around on the computer, and I'm going to watch a new Schwarzenegger movie. Yes! I think the title is... The Last Stand, or Arnold Schwarzenegger's Last Stand, something like that. It's about the tale of a humble small-town sheriff as he defends his small town against an influx of terrorists. Yeah, I'm going to have to suspend my disbelief. But it's an Arnold film, and I love Arnold Schwarzenegger movies. Yes, they're getting me pumped up. You can watch an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Yeah. So... I guess that's it. Oh! Oh, I almost forgot. One more thing. We have something new to try. This is Jim's Discoveries. Don't mind the hat. I'm just feeling goofy today. I found this at Walmart. And I must say that I am not sponsored by this company, nor its products. But I just found it incredibly interesting. It's a value size of hair, Kansas City chips that are supposed to taste like prime steak. Yes, we're going to try these prime steak chips. First, the look test. Mm, nice, big, substantial. And now, the smell test. It smells like a chip. It smells like a chip should. And now, the taste test.